we're nearing the end of our feature complete uh, project here. And the one next piece we wanted to add was the idea to track the actual order status in a real time way so that when you create an order, you can see, is it ready? Is it gonna be, is it done? And uh, what we would need to use for that is gonna be are going to be subscriptions and subscriptions if you're relatively new to graphql allow us to be able to use a websocket connection to our api and we'll get real-time data pushed to the browser without needing to do any kind of refreshes or any sort of uh, behavior that would be a manual intervention there are patterns and paradigms like polling that we can do to sort of simulate real time but with the websocket connection we actually do have a pub sub relationship with the server where we'll be able to listen to any data as it becomes available and gets sent to our server. Uh, so to do that, we're gonna go ahead and implement this. We have a subscription here created, uh, again, emu emulating our user roles here. And we're gonna use this to allow us to be able to subscribe to those changes. So I've taken this query, and if we go back to the code editor here, we'll be able to see that we have this now created inside of a, uh, a get orders subscription. So I come to my uh, my open orders, we'll see we have a subscription here. And I've added a little UI element here now for no active orders, uh, for active orders ideally. And then what we'll do is if we have active orders, we'll go ahead and implement that. So let's go ahead and actually bring data from the server on down. And what we're gonna do is uh, actually listen for those subscriptions using the React, using uh, the same Urkel pattern we've been working with. We do actually have a hook for this, so we're gonna use that and see how far we get with it. To begin with, we're gonna go ahead and import that from our generated code. And I wanna actually always just come in here and toss in that generated path first, so we're able to use our ID helpers. So we're gonna do the use. Use my open order subscription. Great, all right, and for that, what we can do now is we come down here, we're gonna go ahead and say that we have a uh, data coming off of there, and that is going to equal to the use my order subscription. Now, we're not quite done yet. What we need to do is actually go ahead and uh, pass in the uh, query here. So if we look at the specification, so from here, we're able to go ahead and pass in an options array. We can see the same things that we worked with. We have the context, we have a pause uh, Boolean operator or, or variables that we can potentially pass in. Our query does not actually utilize any variables. We're just simply grabbing the order statuses uh, based off of our permissions from the incoming JWT. So to use the subscription, all we have to do is call it and then read the data property off it's actually gonna simply just return the entire payload of the server side response every single time from the WebSocket connection. There's nothing more we need to do here. Uh, if we wanted to sort of have custom behavior like reducing the response or we wanted to potentially have a, a stacking feed of changes, we could pass in a callback handler here to do that for us, a subscription callback handler. We're not gonna actually do that or need that in our case. All we want is the current state of that data every single time so we can see when the orders change. To use this, it's actually as straightforward as simply inputting the uh, data inside of our components. I have some example uh, code uh, created for that. And here we have the data with the pizza order, uh, checking if it exists or not. If it doesn't exist, we're gonna go ahead and show no active orders. However, if it does exist, we're gonna go ahead and show an active orders widget, which I've created to simply iterate over our pizza title and our order status. Let's see how this active orders actually look. We'll see that I have my demo pizza, which is still set to baking. We see that I have my Hawaiian pizza. Uh, I have a Hawaiian pizza that I've ordered that's now set to open. And we can see that we now show the active orders uh, based because we have data. If I were to go ahead and add a new order now, let's go ahead and uh, reorder, refresh this UI here. If we go ahead and order a, a Hawaiian here, I'm gonna go ahead and order, not a Hawaiian again, I'm gonna order a different pizza. We're gonna order the uh, spicy tuna. Go ahead and order that. We'll see that the spicy tuna within a couple of seconds just shows up right here at the top. We can see that I have forgotten a key property here. So let's go ahead and fix that real fast inside of our UI where I go and I iterate over here. We're gonna pass in the uh, index of the array and we'll just pass in the key prop to silence those errors. 
refreshing our page now it gives us the behaviors we'd expect we still see our spicy tuna in our open i'm going to go ahead and process spicy tuna uh, to its next status here so if we go to the spicy tuna to the pizza orders i'm going to go to my spicy tuna order here uh, i think it is this one here at the beginning i'm going to go ahead and and just edit this one by itself and this is uh, going to be now set to a uh, ready status go ahead and hit save and we'll now see that the spicy tuna has actually already been uh, transitioned to ready. So that's how we actually work with subscriptions and real-time data. It's a really, really handy paradigm. I'm gonna do one more uh, change here. I'm gonna set all of these to gone just so we actually have our data now set uh, nice and clean. We're gonna just delete some of this data for the sake of our uh, demo. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two pizzas here. Actually, these two pizzas. So now we have uh, this open status here. Let's go ahead and switch this to gone. And if we go now back to our UI, so we'll see that we have no open orders. Let's go ahead and add an order now. I'm gonna choose an existing one here. We're gonna grab this dragon's breath, hit order. And then within a couple of seconds, we have this order status, dragon breath uh, is now an open pizza order. In the next step, we're gonna add some UI here to add some nice visual effects to indicate that this is real-time data, maybe some pulsing colors or something else, but the data is real-time and we have this connected and this allows us to be able to work with real-time data inside of our project. Catch you in the next video.